different plans driving ahead on how to fix the state's roads. There's one big difference, whether you should pay extra taxes to pay for construction. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines live with details on this. Katie? Well, Todd, you could soon be paying more at the pump and at the counter for a pack of cigarettes under one of the plans. The other plan relies on the state to borrow. And the question that remains to be seen is whether the House and Senate can find common ground between, between the two. At the halfway point of the legislative session, the House and Senate are driving down different paths for fixing the state's roads and bridges. The House plan includes a $1 increase per pack in the cigarette tax and an increase to the gasoline tax, $25 per year for the average driver. Ideas that aren't sitting well with Democrats. That, that tax on cigarettes only funds roads if people keep smoking. We think that that, that is going to be a dwindling revenue source uh, and the amount of uh, gasoline that people are using. Even if we index, that is a declining source. The tax increases could also be a tough sell in the Senate, where the bill is headed next. First, let's look at the resources we have. And quite frankly, the resources that we have are pretty enormous. The Senate unanimously approved an infrastructure proposal that mirrors the governor's $2 billion plan. That plan uses some of the state's reserves for road repairs. It authorizes borrowing, although the state wouldn't be able to issue bonds until the end of next year's legislative session when lawmakers craft a budget. House Republicans indicate the idea could be a non-starter. We have worked hard to get out of the borrowing business and, uh, and getting into the pay-as-you-go business, whether it's pensions uh, or uh, road funding or building construction. The Senate president tells us he's working closely with the administration to reduce the amount of borrowing. Bosma says his caucus will try to find common ground. Whether that can happen in the remaining five weeks of the session remains to be seen. And both chambers will now take up the competing proposals here in the next five weeks. Governor Pence, meantime, has said he won't support any plan that includes a tax increase. Reporting live at the State House, Katie Hines, RTV6.